Chapter 1 Introduction to the HK1 and HK2 Modular Microwave Systems We will now go over the basics of an installation and the equipment used to make our microwave measurement. First we'll go over some of the system components and then some of the do's and don'ts. The first component is the most important one, the microwave transmitter. This is where we generate the microwave signal, this is where we measure the microwave signal, this is where we output your current outputs for process control. The microwave transmitter is powered by either 110 or 220 volts AC and it uses less, typically less than 2 amps. The microwave signal generator typically is never any more than 100 microwatts but the maximum could be 2 milliwatts, so it's a very low power. The system can take two inputs for an RTD or an NTC. The HK1s come standard with RTD input, the HK2s come standard with an NTC input, and that can be an option for an RTD in your HK2 units. There is either one or two current outputs available, and these loops are powered. You do not have to power the loop coming out of the HK1 or the HK2. In order to connect to our pins, we have two coax connectors. They are either one meter or two meters in length. They are not in this, they are not being shown in this picture as we, as we see it. The two meter is the longest that you can have. To connect the unit to the, to the coax cables, you will always tighten the, the connector with your hand and then snug it with a wrench about a quarter turn after you have tightened it as tight as you can with your hands. Be careful not to over tighten because you can ruin the seal. Also be careful not to bend the cable right at the connector because that will break the insulation. The last thing about the cables is changes in ambient temperature, if extreme, say 50-60 degrees F, will cause an error due to the transmission speed of the cables. If you have big ambient swings in temperature, it might be a good idea to go with the single piece unit. There are many available sensors with our unit to make measurements in pipes, vessels, across a belt, many, many different applications. But I want to go through some of the basic ones here. The most basic and the most common of our antennas is the standard pin antenna. It's nine inches in length. It is typically used with a flange, a threaded flange, or half couplings. There are, this, this particular pin antenna can be in many sizes. That you see on, on the picture here is the standard length. And then we have a much smaller length, which is also 3A. And the last of the, 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 the antennas are both what are referred to as spiral antennas. The spiral antenna here is called a mini spiral. The spiral antenna here is called our 3A sensor. And these two sensors are used to make a measurement non-contacting through a Teflon window across a pipe. The one thing to remember is the microwave signal cannot shoot through metal, so the microwave system can be non-intrusive, but it can never be non-contacting. Thank you very much. That's the end of the introduction.